and I've been encouraged by the constructive approach that both sides have taken. We've laid a solid foundation for future discussions with an ambitious but eminently achievable timetable. It was clear from the opening that both of us want to achieve the best possible outcome and the strongest possible partnership, one that works for the UK and for the EU. My first priority is to provide certainty to European Union citizens living in the United Kingdom and to UK citizens resident in the European Union. And I know Michel shares that aspiration too. So now that the negotiations have started, we are determined to get on with the job and deliver that certainty as soon as possible. The Prime Minister will later this week update European leaders on the UK's approach to this issue at the European Council. We will then publish a detailed paper outlining our offer on Monday, which I believe will form the right basis on which to reach agreement. I'll also be briefing members of other parties uh, on Privy Council terms, as well as briefing Parliament generally. In addition to our discussion on citizens' rights, we have reached agreement on how we'll structure the talks over the coming months. Michel and I will meet every four weeks, bringing our teams together for a number of days at a time. We hope this regular rhythm will help us to progress our discussions across the full range of issues very quickly. We've also established a number of technical working groups tasked with driving progress on the all-important detail. These groups of senior experts from both the UK and the EU met for the first time today. They'll support Michelle and me by developing creative solutions to challenges we have identified, testing options under consideration and building out the underpinning detail. 